Last time we did fast food hacks, I made hot dogs out of McDonald's meals. This time, I wised up and I'm having them do the work for me. Cooking for one has never been so fun. If you don't know what to make, it's never too late. The bachelor's fridge is kicking out the jams. And the jellies. All right, this first one's an easy one. You don't even have to feel bad about trying to do it because it is pretty well known. I've been doing it for years and you're gonna love it if you're not in the know. Check it out. We are making a run for the border. You will not find this anywhere on the menu. Thank you for choosing Taco Bell. What can I get started for you? Can I get two chili cheese burritos? All right. That should do it. Would you like any sauce? No, thank you. This two chili cheese burritos is going to be 5.16. Thank you. Thank you. It's just like chili in a tortilla. I don't know what else they're putting chili on at Taco Bell, but they still have chili, but they do. And it's delicious. Check it out. Chili cheese burrito. And it is delicious. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But what else is on the secret menu at Taco Bell? Order a five layer burrito and swap out the nacho cheese for guacamole to get the incredible Hulk. Less cheese, more guac, make Hulk have healthy stool. Staying on the superhero page, but switching over from Marvel to DC, you can also get the Superman. Start with a cheesy double beef burrito, then add potatoes, sour cream, and guacamole. Hold the kryptonite. Another day, another menu hack secret menu item here at Burger King. You know about the Impossible Whopper, that is not a secret. But did you know you can get a chicken club sandwich? Hi, thank you Burger King. My name is Kyle, I'll take your order. Uh, yes, hi, can I get an original chicken sandwich? And could you add bacon and tomatoes to that? Chicken club, not on the menu, not a problem. I already like the original chicken sandwich. Let's check it out. Mmm. And what's not to like here? Bacon, good. Tomatoes, good. Chicken sandwich, already good. If you have a free afternoon and want to spend it on the toilet, Check out the Suicide Burger from Burger King. Four hamburger patties, bacon, and extra cheese. This next one is interesting, but I don't want to get spit in my food, so I held off from ordering it. Apparently, since they have ham on hand from the breakfast menu, Burger King is all too happy to break it back out for the evening shift and make you a ham and cheese sandwich. Here we go again. What the hell is the Land Sea Air Burger? Hi, how can I help you? Uh, yes, hi, can I have a filet of fish a uh, McChicken and a cheeseburger? Anything else? Has anyone ever asked to have a McChicken, filet of fish and cheeseburger on the same sandwich? Do you want me to do that? Is that possible? I can ask. One moment. I'm, no, I mean if it's a pain in the butt, it's no big deal. No, I can just ask. Thank you. Okay, you want the cheese, the chicken, the fish filet, and the cheeseburger on the same sandwich, like the same thing. Yeah, that'd be great if that's possible. Yeah, they can do it. Okay, okay. awesome. Thank you. Uh, yep. Lancy Air Burger coming in hot. Yep, no, one sandwich, good okay. to go. Thank we'll you. Perfect, okay. thank you. It wasn't cheap, eight bucks for one sandwich, but, but, holy unholy concoctions, Batman. Ha! <laughs> wow. Yes, please. Let's give this in our mouths. Wow, this is all you're going to need for lunch. Just skip the fries. Anyway. Let's try this SOB. <laughs> it is um sloppy. 
there's no traction maybe that's what the middle part of the Big Mac offers is traction if this was five bucks I'd do it again Lancy air burger McDonald's let me know in the comments if you had any luck ordering one all right, this one's time sensitive, but if you roll up to McDonald's while they're switching from breakfast to lunch, you can press your luck by ordering the Mc1035. Just order an egg McMuffin and a McDouble, and then ask them to put the meat from the McDouble on your English muffin. Now you're eating brunch in your car. Don't waste that extra bun though. Do something gross with it and tell me about it in the comments. Crank up the bubble guppies and get some headphones on the kids for this next one. For just over two bucks, you can have some hot three-way action at McDonald's. Try not to blush when you order the McGangbang, a full McChicken sandwich shoved between two patties on a McDouble. Mmm, tastes like regret. You know about Arby's, they have the meats. Your vegan friends are going to have to sit this one out, but that doesn't mean your vegetarian friends can't come along for the ride. Thank you for choosing Arby's. Um, yeah, hi. Can I get the uh, Reuben, but with no meat, and have you add tomato and uh, pepperoncinis to that? There's no meat. No meat, please. Okay, one second. Okay, one, uh, sorry, you want one on there? Just the Reuben with no meat. If you could add tomato and uh, peppers to it, that'd be great. Already, anything else? That's all. It's gonna be uh, just go forward, okay? Okay, thank you. Deadpool approves. Thank you. Trying to go mildly healthy for this last one here. Let's see what we got. It's essentially a sauerkraut grilled cheese with Swiss. But, oh, it looks like they put pickles instead of peppers on there, which is what I was hoping for. And, oh no, tomatoes. Tomatoes are good. I lied about the pickles. They actually are peppers. So, good on them. Sorry for pickle shaming you, Arby's. Hmm. That's not bad. That's delightful. If you uh, find yourself in a situation where your vegetarian friends like, nah, I can't eat there. Arby's? Nah. You could tell them, let's meet at Arby's for a no meat sandwich. Maybe you actually came to Arby's for the meats. Well, you're in luck. Order a meat mountain, then pray to God no one's in the bathroom when you get home. This monstrosity is two chicken tenders, roast turkey, ham, corned beef, brisket, roast beef, and bacon. There's cheddar and Swiss in there somewhere, too. I totally get it. You're watching your calories and slimming down for the summer. You'll want to try the Big Iowa. It's a ham, turkey, and brisket sandwich with melted cheddar, bacon, red onions, ranch dressing, and three mozzarella sticks for some reason. Ask for it on an onion roll, then let your doctor know you'll be swinging by next week for a checkup. All right, would you try any of these? Did you try any of these? Let me know in the comments. We are inching so very close to monetization. Subscriber numbers are there. We need the watch time. Tell your friends about the bachelor's fridge and all the craziness that goes on here, the shenanigans, the tomfoolery, the other adjectives for mischievous food-related behavior. You are the best. I will see you next time.